guys welcome back to my channel um this is gonna be a cute little video i hope it's 20 things i've learned in my 20 years given that i've just recently turned 20. okay so the first one is actually probably one of the most important ones i think um but it's that it's better to be alone than to be around people that make you feel lonely so what i mean by this is like when we are lonely we tend to accept friendships that don't meet our values don't really treat us well don't not like respectful and stuff like that i feel like everyone's probably had an experience where they're in a friendship group and they just don't feel heard on i think that's a far worse feeling than just you know spending time getting to know yourself and just waiting for the right friendships to come along my second is something that actually i am good at and that's just connecting with your inner child it's so important because we spend all of our youth really being like oh when i grow up i want to be this i want to do this and then just waiting to grow up and then as soon as we're grown up we're like i want to grow back down so i suppose this one could also just be just be happy and present in the place you're in just finding excitement in everything like you do when you're a child you then start noticing joy in more places if you're looking for it number three this is something i will admit even though i know it's good i don't do very much myself and that's that if a situation won't affect you in 24 hours try not to let it affect you at all now i think the normal rule of this is uh 72 hours but honestly if a situation is going to upset you for three days i feel like you can take a second you're going to be over it tomorrow and won't even think about it then there's no use bringing that negativity into your life just brush past it just move on from it and like i said i'm really bad at this one my sister's brilliant at it and she's always telling this to me um but i guess it's just you know assessing what's important to spend your mental energy on number four is one of the best habits you can develop is journaling I started journaling about a year ago and it genuinely has changed my life and I know that sounds very dramatic and I think if a year ago I heard myself saying that I'd be like you're lying why are you lying to all these poor innocent people I promise you I'm not it's such like um a staple in my nighttime routine it's the last thing I do before bed and I'm a massive nighttime overthinker so to get all my thoughts out on paper before I go to bed is like extracting all that worry and stress from my mind and just having a place to put it and when it's on paper you can often think of a situation a lot more rationally than if you're in your head because in your head it's like thought after thought after thought and you just kind of spiral whereas if it's on paper you're like it's quite it's a lot more objective now that I'm coming to the end of it I'm like I've had a year of memories in it, you know, and it's so cute to look back and even on the bad stuff because it evidences that you do just get through everything. Number five, this is one of my favourite quotes, okay, so I need everyone's full attention. People will come into your life for a reason, a season, or a lifetime. And what I take from this quote is don't forcibly hold on to relationships. Like, obviously you have to put work into relationships, but they shouldn't be exhausting hard work where you're constantly doubting yourself and if that is the case maybe they're just there to teach you something we change so much and people that we meet at one stage in our life they might be and that doesn't take away from the genuine friendship that you had then but as you both go through different life experiences and move on you can just grow apart and obviously it's very painful when that happens but to just be able to be like they were there for that season of my life and they were a genuine good friend even if they're not now i just think that's a really beautiful thing school is important but so is your life like find the balance because you only like school is such a unique place with like having so many different people there and interactions and i found when going to uni one of the things I missed the most was the people who weren't necessarily my closest friends but who I'd have many interactions with in different classes. I really miss that. Just be happy about school, be grateful, put work in because your exams are important, your work is important, but it's not everything. Have a life outside of it. Work on your hobbies, work on yourself. 
marks are marks all you can do is try your best and i honestly am such a true believer in if it's meant to be it will be um it's also okay to say no and you don't need to explain yourself because if you're anything like me like a people pleaser it's so hard to like say no even if you really don't want to because your mind starts going oh my god they're gonna hate me <sighs> they're gonna think i'm the worst person ever no if they do that's their issue and you don't need to explain yourself because even and again i'm still learning this now but i'll say no and i'll be like no because um this and then maybe because this and i just don't like no just say no like it's fine you don't have to want to do it you don't have to put yourself in that situation if you don't want to it's your life but then kind of contrastingly is say yes to as many opportunities as you can and i'm gonna do a little quote from my beautiful friend sienna um live life for the plot live it like it's a movie he always says if you're nervous about something and you're thinking worst case scenario even in worst case scenario like that's a cracking story to tell people you go to a party right and you're really nervous about going to the party you're not sure you want to do it and your worst thing that can happen is i don't know i get into like a raging argument with this person what a fun story to tell people later on don't change yourself for others because you have you're the only one who has to live with yourself as long as you do no one else is in your life for as long as you are and so there's no point changing yourself because those people are probably temporary anyway and what am i doing give myself black i'm doing all of this without a mirror by the way so i'm trying to do one of those late 90s early 2000s like gray makeup looks I'm not going too well people are temporary other than yourself so there's no point making permanent changes for that live your life like dye your hair cut it try out different styles i look back i well, i look at like young people nowadays and like they're so stylish i feel like they're missing out on the life experience of wearing leggings brightly colored striped polka dot leggings undershorts you know <laughs> like, i look back at that and i'm like that was such a part of me like growing up and i'm like i think it's funny to look back and be like oh my god i thought that looked good i've had terrible haircuts but i've done it and it felt right in the moment it's okay to follow little bits of temporary happiness you know <coughs> oh yeah, just do it like just do it get piercings like just i don't know just live life like it's fun you know take lots of photos but take it where it doesn't take you away from being present in the moment so there's nothing more annoying than realizing you missed out on something because you were like too busy taking photos and also to go alongside that like ask people to take photos of you because my mum actually i remember her saying this to me years ago she's like if you're the photographer there's barely any photos of you just make sure you're included in it because it's going to be really sad if you look back and you're not in any of the like photos like group photos and stuff like that you know prioritize sleep i know it's fun to stay up till two in the morning you know watching gilmore girls definitely not what i'm doing but like sleep has so much control over your mood your health obviously your energy levels like your mental ability to function like <laughs> make sure you're doing it well and also with that like get mattress toppers get nice pillows sleep is genuinely the most essential thing you've probably heard the phrase like sleep is the best medicine don't slack on your skincare and your oh, did you just see i hate myself a sun cream in particular and start early because it's i've only really prioritized it in maybe like the last year or two and because of that i've had to experiment so much with what works for me the younger you start the more you know what works for you don't follow every tiktok tiktok trend you see especially with your skin during covid i fell victim to the whole cerave uh skincare trend where everyone was being like oh my god it changed my like entire skin this is crazy and i'm sure it did for some people but i spent a fortune on all of the products and it broke me out so badly like my skin was absolutely destroyed be around nature again similar to sleep being around in nature has so many positive impacts on every area of your life and just moving your body in general but like being outside with all like listening to the birds and 
but having all the smells and all the textures and stuff is just really good and it's only when you don't have it that you're like i miss it like during covid i was like not being able to go outside i was like what i wouldn't give to go on a nice little countryside walk you know so i'm gonna wait for this to dry before i wipe it off because otherwise that's gonna get messy learn to love yourself before you enter a relationship because if you don't love yourself or know who you are, you're going to accept way less than you deserve and you're going to end up in a really potentially terrible and degrading relationship. You need to know your standards, you need to know what you're willing to accept. Don't drop your friends for a partner, please, 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 please. Don't do it. Your friends are so important. Who are you going to go crying to if you drop your friends and you have a horrible breakup with your partner and then you've got no one that's gonna be so embarrassing you guys don't do that you have to value your platonic relationships as much as your romantic siblings can be your absolute best friends i mean it they're the only other people other than yourself that's going to be in your life for as long as your siblings are and just make sure you value them because obviously you're growing up you have all this conflict all of that but just make sure that you know that they're like there for you and you're like best friends my siblings are my best friends i adore them i'm so lucky to have them and i recognize that this might not be the case for everyone but if it is make sure you value them take this off now obviously that's not gonna work animals are your biggest supporters confidants friends like an animal's not gonna snitch on you, an animal's gonna love you unconditionally. Just love them, I love my animals, and I miss them so much when I'm at uni. They're beautiful, appreciate them, please. Do what makes you feel good, regardless of what other people say. I kind of touched on this earlier, but again, you are the only one that has to live with you for as long. And then like, again, people can be temporary, so just, it's your life, you're living it, why not do what makes you happy if people say oh what's really embarrassing don't do it if you want to do it do it <laughs> and finally when you're 20 you think everyone has it figured out everyone has to have it figured out you don't have to have it figured out you don't have to and i'm saying this after like off the back of an existential crisis where i was like i don't know what i want to do i don't know what i want to be i don't know what happens after uni but you don't have to even if you go down one career path and then like 30 years time you're like i want to do something different you can you can do something different you're not it's not written in a blood pact or written in stone just i feel like the best way is just chase your passion as far as it will take you because you want to love your work and i feel like as long as you do what's making you happy you'll find your way to something that remains your source of joy in modern society i feel like there's a way to like monetize every hobby <laughs> basically regardless i feel like it's gonna work out you guys i think it will but anyway guys thank you so much for joining me in this video i hope you guys enjoyed it i enjoyed doing it and just live your life and please comment what you've learned in your time on earth so far what your biggest pieces of advice are um but i will see you in my next video yeah